today we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled Begin the New Year with Positive Thinking on Between Master and Disciples, held in English. some cakes for you. Wow. <laughs> Who's online? Ah, okay. What's that? It's <laughs> Greek. Yeah. <laughs> List of all the countries that are online, mm. the ones that we can take. The ones with the tick. It's the one we can talk back. Oh, talk back. Are they listening now? They see? <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. Only the first uh, one or every page? Okay, right? Every page of that. All right, look at that. Oh my God, this is 28 or 27, 26. What, you cross the whole universe? What is that? <laughs> Which one? 28. 28. Okay, let's start with 28. That's Dallas. Can we do that? We have never talked to Dallas before. Hey, exciting. New lovers coming. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Sorry, the center is so big. <laughs> <laughs> Any more people out there? Yes, yes let them. <laughs> the next door and upstairs. So that was the first That's place. it, right? Okay, we'll Everybody come up later. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> Don't shake too much, huh? It's not that cold. <laughs> you make me shake it also. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What makes people shake? I don't know. <laughs> what makes you shake, huh? What's the problem? Yeah? Hi! Hello, Dallas Stenzer. Stand by, please. <laughs> What's that? I'm checking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I thought we have the uh, video. Just radio, that's it? Uh, and video as Bish. well. Ah, hello. Bish, can you... <laughs> How are you guys? Ah, my sir. We are good, yeah. my sir. How are you? Ah, I'm all right. Are you seeing any Dallas over there? Huh? Oh, it's here? All right. <laughs> is New Year already by you? Uh, yes, it is. It's going to be New Year approximately about uh, eight and a half hours. Eight and a half hours? Yeah. Oh, that's too long. All right. Never mind. Uh, in case I don't see you again, Happy New Year, all, all of you, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't they have a loudspeaker that they can all hear you? Yeah. Or me? Yeah, we, we Just... hear you loud and clear. Okay, good, good. Any urgent question before you die or anything? <laughs> <laughs> Must be life and death, okay? We, uh, we don't have any questions, Master. Good. <laughs> no news is good uh, news. Wish you a very uh, happy new year. Okay, not yet, but okay. Thank you. I will save it when uh, in a few hours I use it. Thank you. <laughs> Same to you guys, okay? 
Thank you, Master. In eight hours, Happy New Year. All right? All right. <laughs> Bye for now. Love you. I love you. We love you too. <laughs> Next one, Houston. Could switch it back to general, yeah? Houston, stand by. All right, Houston. It's not too many, so we okay. We we take care of them first, okay? <laughs> now we can celebrate and let them see. <laughs> we can eat all the cakes. <laughs> I bought a lot of cakes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't make it a habit. <laughs> who is this? Hello? Oh, it's ringing. Hello, who is it? Hi, can you see me, honey? Hi, 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 hi. A Merry Christmas did you have? Oh man. Hi. Again. Hey, are you guys okay? Oh, we're okay. Yeah. Well, I just want to say um, Happy New Year in a few hours. What is this? <laughs> you tell him who is it. And we cut. <laughs> you were just speaking to God. <laughs> oh. Oh, never mind. never mind. Can you look at me well, yeah? See you. Okay? Any questions, babies? Gone? Good. Jeez. All right. See, the contact person is something about the contact person. <laughs> when you touch them, there's no contact. <laughs> Los Angeles. Hello, Los Angeles Center. Los Angeles. Hello, brother. Hold on. Who is that? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you see me? Hello. Hi. I can see you. <laughs> ah, how are you? How is everyone? Yeah, I can see you too. Very blur, but fine. <laughs> Alive. Ah. Everyone okay, yeah? Yeah. I can hear you well. <laughs> Thank you. I just want to wish you uh, a happy new year in a few hours, right? Yes. What time is it now by you? We're I know you're excited. How many more hours till new year in Los Angeles? Ten and a half, okay. Happy New Year in ten and a half hours. Uh, thank you to you. Any quick questions? One thousand questions. I hear that. <laughs> so many questions. First one, dear Master, my sister has been initiated for a couple of years. She meditates every day and she keeps the five precepts. Uh -huh. However, she often feels frustrated and sad right after meditation. Ah, oh. yeah. Why is that? She cannot concentrate on the wisdom eye. Oh, cannot? So, so, so ask her where she wants to concentrate. Even she tries really hard, can you please help her? Well, I don't know if she doesn't concentrate on the wisdom eye. Ask her where does she want to concentrate. Then I can help her. Hmm? All right, I'll pass the message along. <laughs> no, not passing message along. You didn't have any humor. Okay, just tell her try her best, okay? Alright, Master. New Year will be better. What's the next question? The next question is for me personally, and mm -hmm. I, I would like your blessing in becoming a resident disciple. Oh, who are you? <laughs> What's your name? I'm one of your disciples. For, uh, I've been initiated for a year now. For a year, and you want to become a resident? Absolutely. Wow. What do you have? How many million dollars? I only want, <laughs> I only want rich re residents. <laughs> you write a check. You write a check. <laughs> How much is it, baby? <laughs> See if it's enough to cover you and the troubles that you make. I can cover my expenses, no problem. Your expense is not much. Is the problems that you make? 
One of the residents really broke the helicopter and crashed in another car and damaged another car and having a lot more trouble, which I don't want to mention. How much do you have? <laughs> yeah. The cost of living is high in the, <laughs> in the residential group. Okay, never mind, we'll talk about that later. I don't know you yet, okay? Yes. The last one is uh, another question. For those high-level beings who come down to this world using transformation bodies, uh, where do they live? Where do they stay? Where do they live? Oh, you mean the, the one in the physical body or the one that's only a uh, transformation body? The one using the transformation body. They don't live anywhere. They don't need the physical body. If they want a transformation body, they come quick, you know, and then they go quick. They go back to heaven where they came from. Only the one in the physical body stay longer. Anyway, if any higher beings want to come down here, they could stay for a while, you know, one week, two weeks, or one day, two days, you know, until a couple of months if they want to, in a manifested physical body. But they can't stay too long because, number one, they uh, don't like it here. <laughs> we also don't, so why should they? Yeah? Number two, the, the material body is, is so... Um, uh, limited for them, and they don't feel that comfortable, yeah? And number three, if a person doesn't have too much karma or affinity with other sentient beings in this world, then the material body uh, will not uh, last very long. All right? Understand, guys? Yes. All right, any more questions? Thank you, Master. Uh, you are very welcome. And the residential stuff, well, we talk about that later. Blessing to all of you, and uh, have a very happy new year soon in a few hours. Okay, ciao. Bye. Love, love. Mm. <laughs> ah, Formosa. Oh. Singapore. Oh, we are going. Okay, Formosa. Oh, you know what? We talk. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. We talk uh, in English first. Australia, okay, Canberra and Perth. And then we move to another English speaking country. The two in Australia, Australia, Melbourne and Sydney. Huh? Only Melbourne and Sydney. Yeah, whatever. You cross here, I don't know. It's different. Okay, good, good. Good. Uh, Singapore also speaks English, but we move up later. Okay? Melbourne and Sydney. Come on, move it. Otherwise, they get excited for nothing. <laughs> they there? They there? Yeah. Hello, is this Melbourne Center? Yeah, hold on, brother. Thank you. Melbourne. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes. How are you guys? Thank you, Master. You're smart. <laughs> Can you see us? Can um, not, mine. not yet? No, not yet, sir. All right. All right. Just want to wish you guys a happy new year. Okay, now I can see you a little bit. Ah. Can, can you see me? No. Yes? I'm not yet. I'm not yet. I'm not yet. Hi. Yeah, yeah, I think they can see me now. That's why they're clapping. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Lovely. Lovely to see you. Cannot see? Can you see or not? Yes or no? Not yet. How come you're clapping at the air? <laughs> ah, I see. That's why. Before we call you, did you see any picture from us? <laughs> okay, so we switch it back so that you can see me, all right? Okay. Love, love to everybody. <laughs> kiss, kiss. Hug, hug. Ciao. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, I'm sorry, it's, it's not too good when you don't see me, so we switch it back, okay? Yeah, say hello and love. Okay. This is uh, Vietnamese, I guess. So now, what's next? Sydney. Sydney. That's why I don't like the technique in this world. It's, it's hard. <laughs> it's not too much fun, eh?
Yeah, maybe one day it will be better, huh? One day it will be better. When they would have a UFO and we just flash by, hey, me, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> just flash by, you know. Okay, done. You guys comfy there? Okay. Yeah. Perfect, huh? No? Hello, is this Sydney Center? Yes, it is Sydney Center. Cool. Okay, hold, hold on. We're fine. Hold on, Sydney Center. Hey, hello. How are you? Happy New Year in a few hours. Hello. Yes. Hello, Master. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi, kids. <laughs> Hi, kiddos. Uh, how are you guys? You look so great. You look happy and beautiful. Yeah, we're fine. Thank you, Master. How are you? Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, uh, thank you very much. We all love you. I love you too. Mm. Just, just a quick hello. Any questions, baby? My friends keep telling me yes? what it is like to be around you physically. As I've never be met you physically, I can barely fathom the extent of what they talk about. Understand, understand. Well, then uh, <laughs> you have to ask somebody who has been around me physically. And then he tell you. I was wondering if, in the near future. I would have that chance to meet you. Maybe. Be with you. Maybe, and maybe. At a constant end to know what it is to be with you and around you, Master. Thank you me. always around me, okay? Forget about the physical, all right? Okay, yep. Uh, thank you anyway. <laughs> okay, thank you. Next one? Master. Yes. Thank you so much for giving me opportunity to be initiated for three months. Okay, I got it, I got it. At the time of initiation, I think I saw light of level four, and I heard the sound of the airplane. After two months, I heard the sound of the bell, and, and a week later, I heard the sound of music, which is very amazing and peaceful. Good. I can hear that music only once, and now I go back to hear the sound of the airplane again, which I don't like it as much as the sound of the music. Hmm. Uh, does that mean that my level has dropped in that? No, no, no. It doesn't mean that. Please advise me the way to get back my music sound. Oh, it will. It will come back. Just try. Any more questions before the battery is dead? <laughs> Thank you all of you and Happy New Year soon. All right, ciao, love, love, kiss, kiss. Okay, baby. Now Singapore. Singapore is beginning. We see, and then we move to the uh, the hard chord. <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> I almost forget how to speak Chinese. I haven't spoken for a long time. Oh. Strong. <laughs> Singapore, you know. Singapore Centre. <laughs> Singapore Centre. Hi. We want to say uh, hello and, and Happy New Year to you from everyone at Singapore. Thank you. Same to you. Same to you. Happy New Year. And uh, of course, it's really good to be able to, to see you live. Uh, it makes us feel so good. See? You are a very good center. You have everything. That's why you deserve it. I'm very pleased. Thanks. I'm pleased. Thanks to you, Master, for leading us that way. Well, I'm always leading, but not everybody follows. <laughs> 21st century already, and so much still crawling around. So, everyone's all right? Yes. Yeah. Did you get that? <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Very loud and clear. Everyone here heard it too. Eh? We all heard you. All right. Any quick questions? Oh, you are enlightened anyway, right? Uh, I think everyone's enlightened. But, Wonderful. Uh, of course, everyone still wants to ask questions. <laughs> okay, come on. Uh, just you in, have. In, um, at this stage in, in the evolution of the Earth, we see a lot of you know natural disasters and and such. Yes. And it, and they have a lot of them are happening around Singapore, and Singapore seems to be very well protected. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so I guess what we want to ask is, is, is that part of Singapore's role and is that, that anchoring uh, and that humanitarian side, is that part of, of Singapore's destiny? That is as well protected? Yeah, and that its role in the region is, is like a, a spiritual anchor because mm -hmm. of, of your grace and, and the practice and, and the destiny and the, the merit. Well, you want me to praise you guys or something? <laughs> you want some reward or say, wow, great, huh? Be just no, happy it's... and grateful. <laughs> yeah, we are very grateful for that. Yes, you know, um, I had told you before and just between us that uh, anyone who has not elevated into, uh, you know, at least the second level, they will be in trouble and be eliminated or they eliminate themselves, or they eliminate each other, okay? Okay. And no guard or no uh, master, nobody can ever interfere because they have to go somewhere else, okay? okay. And uh, we know already that people don't die, they just change rooms, change uh, environment. So the astro people have to go somewhere else where it is full of astro beings and live together until they have a higher uh, uh, understanding of uh, spiritual evolution. You get it? Yes, yes, we hear you loud and clear on that. On the one hand, we are very sad to see disasters around the world and we have tried our best, as you guys know that. We try with uh, financial, physical, spiritual and emotional support. We do everything we can to help them, to help the living. And the dead, we cannot do anything. Anyone under third level is still at risk. Do you understand me? But yes, the, Master. But the astral people are more direct, directly impacted by that. But the second level, they still hang around there doing some other job that they have not finished. Only the third level people are more protected. Yeah, And they only go when they have to go when they finish their destiny here and then they practice well and then they go up to a higher level. But mostly third level people are well protected. You can see, well, maybe you cannot see, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like that, yeah? The cleaning cannot stop until all the beings on this planet are almost at a similar level, at least the third level and above. And that's the way it is right now, yeah? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome, so be happy that your country is uh, still okay. Yeah, we're very happy, Master, and we're really happy to see you. And, uh, and everyone here just wishes you many more years of healthy, happy life, and, and we have a great time together. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Ciao. Okay. Yeah. And I move on to the next center, and Happy New Year again, and uh, nice to see you. <laughs> okay, thank you, nice to see you too, Happy New Year. Ciao. Love, love, eh? Forgot. Yeah. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now next one is for Mozai. Wow, that's a big apple. <laughs> big one. Thousands of people, no questions. <laughs> Taipei. <laughs> Hello! Hello, happy people! I can see you! Wow! Very well! How are you guys? You <laughs> Firework, firework. Wow. Wow. Wait, wait, how, how? Can you see the master? 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 <laughs> 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 那个就是放华吗? 
，等下刚才听得很很很大声，<笑>我好想念你们。台北同修非常感谢师傅，那在这三年来，我们台北同修已经不用再流浪。好，那我要祝你们新年快乐而已 ，OK？ 拜、okay? <笑> ，I love you。Love you. <笑> All right, we we finish, right? Thank you. Oh, can we? All right. Wow, cool. <laughs> Penghu is a very small island. It's about six hours by boat from the mainland. Not many big trees because the wind always cuts them off. You know, it's about growing that big on no trees. But people are nice. Good, good people. Yeah, I like that. Hello, Penghu Center. Okay. Hello. Hello. 大家好。师傅好。啊。大家打招呼。新年快乐。Thank you. 谢谢。新年快乐。有看到师傅吗？哇哦，你们呢？你们小岛不过那个那个科技很发达哎、欸，我很骄傲哈。我们今年十月才小中心才才成立。啊，哇哦！不过已经很发达呢，可以听可以听到师傅，可以看到师傅，我对你们很骄傲哎、欸。谢谢师傅。<笑>好，大家继续努力 ，OK。好，是谢谢师傅。大家都诚挚邀请您到我们小岛来度假。<笑>谢谢谢谢，而且我们的小中心在您的加持下都弄得很漂亮，谢谢您。啊，多少人能够在那边？多大？我们那个小中心有差不多三四十个人。啊，那个能容纳多少人呢、啊？目前大殿里大概可以容纳一百个人。哇哦，那恭喜了。等一下，你们可以见到师傅，再转回去了。OK， 好，拜，拜拜，新年快乐。拜拜，拜拜，包包，晶晶。拜拜。OK， now we are back to general public, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. You guys okay, huh? Yes. Happy, happy. Yes. Happy old year, happy new year, happy every year. <laughs> any uh, questions? Any problems? Any good news? Good news or not? You here? Yeah, of course, of course. Okay. Ah, uh, we have some cakes. You want some? Eat, eat now. Just start it. Yeah. Energy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's eat the cake together. Bring the cake out. Everybody, one piece, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, get fat. Can't can't sit. <laughs> can't sit too long. There's some more upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. How many upstairs? Can they see me upstairs? Yeah. Can hello. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some more somewhere. Else. Back and garage. Back garage. <laughs> wow. How did you do that? <laughs> TV, yes. Huh? Oh, wonderful! Good, good boys, good boys, good work. Yeah, you're lucky. That's why I'm here. Hmm. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, if 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 we don't have connection, it's also difficult, eh? Yeah, all the centers they will kind of complain in their heart, and <laughs> when we eat the cake, it's <laughs> sort of like stone, you know. <laughs> okay, where are the cakes? You. <laughs> Just coming. Coming. <laughs> Open it. Bring it out. Call a mince spy. Come on, quick. I'm not eating. Just for you guys. Oh. Yeah, I'm a little bit tired. You look tired. I look tired. Peaceful. Yes. But beautiful. Yes. Nice to hear. 
But I'm getting old, you know. Time is taking a mark on me. Just bring Just it bring out here. Out. Everybody be happy. And this thing, elaborate, you eat at home. You make it at home, yeah? <laughs> Today we just uh, simple, okay? Yeah. Too many, too much trouble. Yeah. Bring tissues as well. Da, da, da. <laughs> this is not my cake, is it? No, the cakes are coming. There's more. There's more. more this is the same? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the same one. Uh, it looks different. One each, okay? It's very simple. Just bring it all out here, quickie, man. Just for fun, you know, it takes too long. See? See? Look at that. It's ready. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, otherwise the custard will run all over the house. Are you, do you prefer with custard? Do you wait until tomorrow morning? Uh, we eat now or we wait until New Year? <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> I thought you're just happy to see me, but never mind. The cake is better. Wow. Yeah. And then some more for upstairs. When we finish, everybody won. Okay? And when it's finished, we... Uh, I mean, when you finish here, we bring upstairs. Okay? I bought it personally. All right? Wow. Wow. Yes. I think of you so much. See how much I love you. <laughs> it proves it. It proves it. Yeah? It's proven. Okay. One each, one each. Uh, bring some upstairs now. Do we have enough here yet? Yeah. Okay, whatever's left, go upstairs, upstairs, and uh, garage and etc. Oh, don't worry, it's okay. They just <laughs> yes, upstairs, garage or wherever. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, huh? Man, it's delicious, huh? I yesterday I try first, you see, if it's good or not. Go have to look if the egg or not egg and try if it's good. And it was good. I just ate it. Go in a hotel, there's nothing to warm. So we eat the same, you know? It's not like I treat myself better and then I give you it's cold. No, it's not. In a hotel it's just a small room. Nothing there to warm it up. Lucky if you have some food at all. And I I bought it just for you. Ah, I'm glad you're happy. Sorry, you guys, the whole world, we have not uh, <laughs> the, the technique to send the cakes through the television yet. <laughs> Teletransporting, maybe in the future. Yeah? So, hurrah, and here the cakes coming. <laughs> yeah, it's just a material thing, you know? A uh, picture is easier to break down into small, small molecules and send away. But the physical, uh, ma harder material is more difficult, but we'll be able to do it someday. Now, other planets, they do plenty of them. <laughs> I think we can do it here already, some part of the world, but it's a secret. It's not for the public, otherwise they misuse it, you know. I hope not everybody can do it, otherwise they sneak into your, your house, yeah? Surprise you in your bathroom, what to do? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I, uh, we have some more of this, no? Yeah, but the, the, the Christmas pudding, no, no. Actually, that Christmas pudding is just for a small number because they don't have many, you know what I mean? And you can't, you can't share it. I don't want to eat what people don't have. Oh, no, I bring it back here. <laughs> Otherwise, the kitchen has and then we don't have it. It's also the same. The pie, I know, the pie, I know. I bought a lot. <laughs> Almost like 200 or something. So make sure everybody has one, you know? The pie, I know. How about the garage? Garage, everyone, the whole house. Everybody has it already? Okay, then eat it. And we save it for the other, if whatever left, save it for the next, you know? For the other guys from the other center. Or those who sit in the other house somewhere. We have a lot more, okay? Save it. Everybody won, I said no cheating, all right? <laughs> because um, it's just fun, okay? This thing you can buy and eat yourself or make it yourself. It's just a symbol of love, eh? Mm. It's not warm. <laughs> ah, that's good. 
But it's not as good as the one in Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Uh, it's also good. It's not just because of him, but because the cake was good. So cold. It's okay. Okay, you go eat your client, don't eat mine. <laughs> His eyes are very big. He <laughs> ate my breakfast, they hungry. I hardly ate anything. You were happy, guys? Very, very, very happy. Mm, not bad. I don't have a family. I mean, I don't have like a small family that we bake cakes and eat vegan turkey or stuff like that. So it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. In in other countries, it's not easy to buy these things. Yeah. They have some, but everybody is not fed up quick. <laughs> <laughs> so when it's my turn, nothing. <laughs> mm, nice. Not bad. I get used to it. Check it out with the custard. <laughs> Yesterday I just ate cold, you know. Can I have some water somewhere? Oh, this is tea, yeah? Mm -hmm. I was so tired today. I don't know why. <laughs> I ran around, you know, as much as I could. Okay, I'm all very tired. <laughs> the car is running around, but I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere is a different karma, eh? Yeah. We go around, sometimes collect garbage. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why people love to go on holiday and all that stuff. Boring. What? Very boring. We are also collecting bad <laughs> Wow, it's nice. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, we couldn't find a hotel. So <laughs> all this, we flat back and forth. <laughs> and didn't have a car either, you know? So all the bikes are coming, going, <laughs> coming, going. <laughs> But today it has a home. <laughs> Lovely. Welcome home. <laughs> Do you eat them at home? Yes. 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 You cook them? You bake them? No, I eat them at home. Oh, you don't bake them? Oh. It's nicer to bake at home, but nowadays we don't have time. Huh? Yeah. I used to bake a lot of these. I love to. Huh? My mom makes them. Mm, I make them better. <laughs> In Hong Kong, I make them. Yeah. Those lucky people. <laughs> you saw the picture or not? Yes. Yeah. Is there anything more that you prepare for yourself? Please eat it. Yeah, come on. Go, go. Go, go, go. No, no, no. You told me that they prepare something for themselves also. Pudding and creams and custard. Oh, nice, then go ahead. Continue. <laughs> this is just from me, eh? And I think your brother, sister. The pudding's everything. We've made a tent outside. All the food is outside. Outside? Yes. And we have a heater, so it's very warm. Oh, mm, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The Christmas puddings are here though, Master. The other food is outside. Oh, is Christmas pudding enough yeah. for everybody? Is it yeah. Yes, Master, it is. Oh, so it's not just for me. I borrowed a few. I don't have enough. No wonder I couldn't buy it. Thank you, love. Just one. No wonder I couldn't buy any more Christmas puddings. You snapped them all up. Okay, let's go outside. <laughs> oh my God. We come back later, brother and sister. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, chow chow to the video conference. Did you eat yet? No, 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 why are you clapping at him? He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a very good boy. He's a good boy. He gave me the teaching in the beginning about you. Nick introduced the Kuan Yin to him. Your disciple. Wow. You don't get that every day. He wore 
Yeah. 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 Yeah, he did all the public. Okay, he also he's married. Yes, yeah. for you. Thank you. Don't give praise into Matthew Texas. Wow, we have enough room for a lot of people. Hey, hey. <laughs> Laos? <laughs> Cambodia? Chinese, okay. Nihama? Two deli, huh? Good. Boom, boom. Hey, okay, Chief. So many people. Oh, you love friends. That's the most jokes you Thank you. Yes. Okay, take it. Ah, we 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 read it later, everybody. Okay. They can joke, huh? Okay. Not a bedroom joke. Come on. Yeah. What? What? Yes. Anybody else complain about anything? Yeah? Only yeah? <laughs> you. <laughs> That's the last one, right? Yeah. Hello, sir. Hi, Hello. sweetheart. Hello. Hello. Okay? Thanks for coming. Ah, Very welcome. happy to see you. Welcome. Yeah. I'm glad to see you too. Okay. Mm. Where from? Singapore? Ah, <laughs> Korea, huh? Hey, you look very nice. What happened? Why is it so crazy? You've been married or something? <laughs> Did you learn English? Yeah? You stay here now? Yes. Good. You look good. Yeah. Is there any problem? Huh? Bye bye. Huh? Happy or sad? I'm happy, okay then. Come to Amida. Well, can you sit here? 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um. Actually, I was walking this morning. Wait, wait. Yeah, everybody wants to hear it. Actually, it's yeah. a, I think it's really a miracle because actually, yes, I didn't know um, that you are gonna be here until yeah. like after my sister called me to my workplace, mm -hmm. and I supposed to finish at six o'clock. Um. So like. Mm, but my manager, she used to be very difficult, but suddenly in the morning she said, oh, I have a good news for you. Yeah. If it's quiet, I, I let you go one o'clock. Oh. Yeah, so I said, okay, that's very strange. And then after a few minutes later, and then my sister called, she know what, the event, this would be, you know, it's, I thought it's, it's cancelled already. <laughs> and then my sister said, like, you know, the, the event will, you know, still uh, be held on, uh, and be continue. So, I mean, if my sister, um, if my manager didn't allow me to leave early, I will have to, you know, quit the job to, to you know. <laughs> but you know, now I can still see you and still, you know, uh, still have the job. <laughs> yeah, it is because my manager is very difficult. But suddenly this morning, she just said like, yeah, just like I have a good news to tell you. You know, I I can uh, let you go at one o'clock. Is required, so I'm definitely I know this is your arrangement, so and thank you very quiet. much. Yeah, it was like not too quiet, but she still let me go. Uh, I know that I, I mean deep inside I know is your is your um, arrangement. Thank you very much, Master. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Like the cosmetics that I. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Master. Yes. Thank you for for giving me. I just am happy that I still have so much bad quality, but you still let me to come and see you. Okay, I've been so blessed and so thank you so much. You can afford to make mistakes. <laughs> yeah. That's how we grow. Everybody makes a mess. Yeah, I promise I will learn and I will improve. Sorry, if you want, I point them out. Thank you, Master, for forgiving no me and loving me. No big deal. Whatever you do, any of you, it's, it's not a big deal, okay? Because or the the big deal I've already stopped. Like you don't kill anyone. See, you don't hurt people on purpose. See, instead you're helping people. When you when you see something needs help, you do help. Okay. 
So the big deal is already eliminated, you see? You don't kill anyone, you don't steal anything. You try to keep to yourself and you meditate yeah, and clean up yourself. So a little mistake here and there is okay. Huh? Don't be too hard on yourself, otherwise I, I'll cry too. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay, you good boys, good girls. Hmm? Master, can I ask you something? Sure, else? sure. Um, how can I be like motivated and be happy to live in this society? Because inside me, I just want to run away and just focus on, on you. No, oh, man. But um, and then I told myself that I have to be like you to be strong and to be survival in this society, but also maintain my spiritual practice. Yeah, that's right. So I'll make you strong. Yeah, that's what I, I thought. I just mm -hmm. need to. How old are you? I'm 22. Only 22. <laughs> you have a lot to do, don't worry, okay? Just keep going. Thank keep you going. for your blessing. I know you're with me. Mm. You look so young and beautiful. Mm. Stay out there and make a shining example. Okay? Yeah. Thank everybody you. come follow me and they're all hide in the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody knows anything else. Yeah? yeah? You have to be my eyes, my ears, my hands. Yeah? yeah? My blessings extended. My love. Understand? Yeah. My example. Okay? Yes. Yeah, if people see you, they see me. We will. Yeah? And they follow you. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, That's Master. the way we bless the world. That's why we practice. Yeah? All right. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm not running away anywhere. It's just sometimes uh, there are times when heaven says no. Yeah? And there are times you may have to do something else, you know? Uh, spiritually, it sometimes looks, uh, looks material, but it's also spiritual. Yeah? Different times may do different things. Yeah? We're not running around anywhere. We're running anywhere at all. If we run, then we run up there yeah. Yeah, to heaven at last minute. <laughs> okay? Yeah. We are not uh, running anywhere. We stay here. Yeah? See? Yeah, and we be strong. Yeah, be strong because all this work, all this uh, uh, challenge makes you more intelligent. Yes, that yes. Is. And all the suffering sometimes makes you more compassionate. Yeah? yeah? Everything is good for us. Yeah? All right. Yeah. If not, then at least we clean the karma. Our karma, yeah? Yeah. I mean, your karma. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we our karma, <laughs> we're together, you know. <laughs> Accomplice, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tong hua, huh? All right, love. Don't love worry, you. you're doing fine. I love you too. Thank I'm you, so I love proud. you. I'm so proud of you guys, especially the young ones. It's very difficult, you know, in this society, so many temptations. You're young and, you know, vulnerable to all kinds of attack and all kinds of uh, seduction. And you still can uh, go on, you know, vegan, uh, non-violence, keep precepts, meditate as much as possible, and that is very fantastic, you know? I'm very proud of you. Don't worry, you're fine. I'm yeah. very proud of you as my master. Yeah, <laughs> many things I do, you'll be very proud, but I don't tell you. <laughs> Because uh, mostly I do it quietly, yeah. Similar to the things that you're doing, yeah. yeah. Over the years, or this year, um, there's so many disasters and all that. And uh, I'm so proud of you. I'm very pleased that all of you, I mean, around the world, have been extending my love to every corner that is needed. You know, we do the best we can to comfort the living and to save the dead. I mean, their souls. It's important that their souls are saved, not their bodies. I mean, okay, if we can save their body, we do that as well. But if not, more importantly, it's the souls. When the souls leave the body, yeah, we take care. That's more important than even giving aid. But we do both, eh? We do both. Yeah. Yes. That's the best way. That's the best way. I cannot think of anything else better to give to society than what we're doing. No? Yeah. yeah. We help spiritually, silently, or quietly with books, with tapes, with talks, with uh, your beautiful energy, and we also give material. Ed. Yeah, I don't think we can do any better than that. No? I don't think anyone, any group on this planet does better than what we do. So I'm very proud of you. And I thank you also, all of you out there. <laughs> thank you, Master. Kobe is a good example. Yes.
Though sometimes you think I'm not with you physically, but I know what you're doing. <laughs> I know you're doing good things. Yeah, mostly good things. And sometimes a little mistake here and there. Sometimes with karma also, you know, karmic patterns sometimes uh, pull you into some difficult situations. Yeah, and you get a little confused. But there's only one thing you must do. In any confusion, there's only one thing you must do. Only do things that are good for you and good for others. Anything that's harmful to anyone, just don't do it. No matter how much karma forces you, you just don't do it, and that will be very simple. Hmm? Rather, but mistakenly harm yourself or take disadvantage to yourself, but never, even in doubt, yeah, never make a mistake of harming anyone else. Never. Even if it looks like, you know, it's the best solution. We just don't do it, yeah? Just nothing harmful to anyone, then you are always on the right path. Even if we lose this physical body, we will not lose anything more valuable, yeah? That is spiritual merit. This is more than physical body. Yeah, that we have forever. Mm. So it's always the same. No confusion, no trouble, just don't harm anyone, yeah? It went in doubt, then always lean on the compassionate side. You know, when you think, oh, that person may be bad or something, but never try to hurt him back. Because you never know, maybe you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. And even if you're right, we just lean on the compassionate side. And that's always safe. Always safe, yeah? And because heaven is always watching, yeah? Heaven is in our conscience as well. No need for Master to be there constantly. <laughs> we know everything, right? Yeah. yeah. If whatever we do is wrong, even if nobody sees it, but we see it, and God will see it, yeah? Angels, if all the people on this planet could see their own aura, you know, dirty and smutsy and brown, dark and, you know, <laughs> very muddy, for example, then they wouldn't dare to do anything wrong or think anything wrong. And furthermore, if everyone could see the angels around everywhere, or invisible beings as well. <laughs> Nobody would dare to do anything wrong. But the thing is, most people are blind, spiritually blind. So they think whatever they do in the dark, nobody sees it. Everyone sees it. The whole universe sees it. That's the problem. All right. Okay, but you guys, I know you're safe because you know the right things to do, the major right things, yeah? And a little mistake here and there, okay, you correct it. All right? Don't worry. You're fine. You look good, that means you're good. <laughs> yeah, continue eating no more. <laughs> My words will go into your food. The problem is that sometimes we cannot hide, eh, baby? We cannot hide. For example, me. I go in a hotel, stay like an anonymous tourist. But some of the hotel workers, even an ordinary doorman, they see the aura. And they keep looking, and then they keep asking. You know what I mean? Sometimes you cannot hide. You cannot hide from everybody. And sometimes even the police, you know? And they, they, they look at me and they, they think, okay, this is a good girl, so... <laughs> no question, because some of them can see the aura. And in one of the hotels I stayed recently, you know, when, uh, during my travels, and one of the doormen said to me, uh, he didn't see the whole picture, not everybody sees the whole aura. Some see only one particular color, yeah? Like, for example, if I have a rainbow ranch, you know, of aura, he sees maybe only pink color, or blue color, or pink and blue, or maybe gold and white, or white, or just gold, or just silver, whatever he sees. Yeah, and then one guy saw me go and white, and uh, he kept looking at me up there, so I kept asking, hey, what did you see? To tell. <laughs> yeah, he said, well, Go and white. Yeah. I say, well, did you tell anybody? He said, no, I didn't, but my colleague also saw it. <laughs> I said, okay, okay, keep quiet, huh? He said, he doesn't know if he can keep too quiet because if he sees it, he thinks everybody else can see it, you know? I said, it's all right. So, you see a lot of them, huh? I was just talking. I said, no, no, no. Maybe a few thousand people go through this hotel, only one has them. <laughs> You know, very rare, it meant like that. So, 
I said, so what do you think? Why some people have and some people don't? I said, oh, these people must be very pure in the heart and do good things. And uh, because he told me that he knows me because I come in and out there a lot, you know, and he said, you are such a good, generous and nice person, so I'm not surprised to see this. <laughs> yeah, for example, like that. Huh? I meet these people everywhere and sometimes I cannot hide, you know. I can hide physically but not, not spiritually. Some people are blind, some people are not. So I'm just telling you that whatever we do, some people will see it. Understand? Yeah. So the aura is just one thing. But some people are psychic, some people know a lot of things also, huh? Yeah, but don't worry, you know. Sometimes you have to do things according to your karma. As long as you don't hurt people, you know, on purpose, or you don't do anything deliberately, then just ask for forgiveness if you still think it's wrong, yeah? But we don't hurt anybody, so the wrong cannot be that wrong. It cannot be too wrong, yeah? Because the big ones we already avoid. So just a little thing here and there, all right? Try to cut if you can. Oh, just one question and talk so long. <laughs> <laughs> what else, what else? Matthew, yeah. thank you for being love, justice and compassion. No, justice. <laughs> I don't have justice with you. Master, is this one of your manifestation body? Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> it can be. It's possible. <laughs> it's possible. Both. <laughs> it's possible both, huh? Who knows, huh? Never mind. Yeah. It's okay. I also don't know. Is this a manifestation? <laughs> I don't know anymore what's real in this world, baby. <laughs> Just take what comes. Yeah. Con xin cảm ơn thượng đế đó và con cũng chúc thượng đế sang năm mới trẻ mãi đẹp mãi đó lòng mơ ước của con mỗi mỗi ngày con thiền con đều cầu nguyện cho thượng đế suốt và trẻ mãi đẹp mãi hôm nay con nhìn thượng đế trẻ mãi đẹp mãi đúng với ước nguyện của con và và Thank you, thank you. Và con xin cảm ơn thượng đế. Nó con gọi thượng đế từ lúc con tem băng không có đi con con trong lòng con chỉ có ngài là thượng đế không dùng từ sư phụ nữa đó. Và không được sao cũng được. Và con xin cảm ơn Ngài là con không phải đồng tu ở London, con là đồng tu uh, Thụy Điển, mm -hmm. con là um, liên lạc viên của Thụy Điển, em đến hôm và trước tiên con cảm ơn Thượng Đế lần đầu lần lần thứ nhất là con được lúc con thiền đến 4-5 giờ sáng đó, con đi ngủ thì con có một giấc mơ là cái lần đó, con tỉnh dậy, con không biết là con đang mơ thì có điện thoại, con tỉnh dậy thì con cứ trong lòng cứ nghĩ sao tại sao nay cứ nhắc đến Hungary, Hungary thượng đế. Đó là cái hôm đó là bên Hungary có truyền tâm ấn có đặc biệt của châu Âu đó. Và vì trước đó hai tuần thì con có nghe được tin đó thì con xin ở châu Âu bên Hungary đó là cho chúng con được bốn bốn người sang đó. Nhưng mà sau hai tuần họ trả lời là chật quá thì không được có thượng đế. Thế là tự nhiên con đêm con nằm mơ xong á, con dậy đó, con cứ càng ngày con cứ cứ bảo là thượng đế thượng đế à Hungary, Hungary nên con ngồi thiền khoảng đến 3 giờ chiều thì con nhận một điện thoại của họ gọi điện cho con đó. Họ nói là hôm nay bên có một sứ giả bên Hungary đó, có báo tin cho con là bên bên trung tâm của con đó có bốn người được đi um, dự truyền tâm ấn ở Hungary thượng đế. Và sau đó con sang Hungary cái lần truyền tâm ấn về con ngồi thiền con rất là cảm thấy rất là rất là khác rất là khác cái thượng đế. Con cảm giác mỗi từng phút từng giây đó con yeah. đều ở bên bên cạnh ngài á. Thành ra mới đây qua đây nữa hả? Xong, và con lại kể cái lần này nữa, <cười> con lại được ngài cho con cơ hội lần thứ hai nữa. Và <cười> con mới bay qua đây từ tối hôm qua á. <cười> và thì là con bay tối hôm qua đến hôm nay thì là con gái con báo tin là ở đây có cuộc hội họp đó. Thì <cười> con xin phép con nói là gọi điện hỏi cho liên đặc viên đây Xin phép cho con được đến dự buổi hội họp ở đây đó. Vâng, thế là cuối cùng liên đặc viên đã chấp nhận cho con được qua đây Thượng Đế. Cho nên là <cười> con được hai lần Thượng Đế cho con cơ hội đó. Và con xin cảm ơn Thượng Đế rất nhiều á. Và... <cười> Welcome. Và con cảm ơn Ngài. Và... Sư Phụ, Tôi từ Trung Quốc đã lưu lại. Tôi đã theo Trung Quốc thông siêu cho Sư Phụ bài nhận. Chúc Sư Phụ xin nhận khỏe lợi, sinh trí trẻ khăn. Tôi từ Trung Quốc đã lưu lại. Tôi từ Trung Quốc đã lưu lại. Tôi từ Trung Quốc đã lưu lại. 
他都跟我一起打坐。他说：“希望我们同你一起打坐以后，你到英国去看到师傅以后，你就代表我们每一个人，每一个人的心。”就到那么快的在英国都看到师傅呢？哎呦，谢谢师傅、啊，<笑>我已经来了快三个月了，我就等师傅这一天、啊，我终于等到了，啊、我太开心了。哎呀，哎呀，难怪我睡不着，我我我我睡不着了。嗯，我给师傅拜个年，啊。OK。谢谢啊！我代表中国问候，哎，问候大家。我来到这里，中国大陆的啊，中国大陆。<笑>我来到这里，呃，几天都受到那个英国同修的非常非常热情的招待。我非常非常开心是是，我马上要回家了，就看到师傅了。嗯，我要把我这个心情给中国大陆的每一个同修分享。Okay, 好啊，谢谢。嗯，再见。我又讲太多，他们都跑过来，我们没地方啊。<笑>我也不一定呢，我不是说来这边要留这边呢，有时候来就走嘛，跟匈牙利一样来的就走，不是说每次留这边，嗯，能留就好，不过不一定嘛 ，OK， yeah， I say it's not necessarily I come here and then I just stay here， you know。So I hope she doesn't tell all the Chinese and they come in. <laughs> we have no room. Okay, next one. Anyone else? 师傅， yeah. 我在这要说一声谢谢你。我不一知不知道自己找了几次，终于找到你。当我阴心的那一天，我自己感觉好像结婚。在这一年有师傅陪伴的，呃，走在回家的路上，我好像一直在度蜜月。嗯、真的，祝师傅。身体安康，事事如意。谢谢谢谢，谢谢。啊，因为今年的夏天我回大陆探亲，我在英国居住。啊。但是我回大陆探亲，我把师傅的教理带回我的整个家庭，还有我的朋友。嗯。我们家里，我的妈妈还有我的妹妹，他们现在已经每个月能坚持十天吃素。谢谢师傅。啊，不客气，不客气。好了。呀。Yes, baby, chocolate. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to get into this family. You and like it? You like very, my family? Very much. <laughs> They're happy, very, no? They're good, huh? <laughs> very, very much. They treat yeah. you well? Very well. Good. If not, you tell me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, um, today I've been uh, a very, very overwhelming day very happy day for me because since I was initiated this is the first time of meeting you yeah and uh, I don't remember you before. <laughs> <laughs> you like me yeah very much good yeah I like you too <laughs> I like chocolate <laughs> <laughs> you, you okay you meditate well very well and, and uh, I'm, I'm very happy that yeah you look my, happy. My daddy introduced me into this. Yeah, yeah. you look happy. So I'm, I'm so happy. Yeah, and wonderful. And uh, I really love your teachings and and uh, what you say. I read a lot of your books and stuff like that. And uh, I've been admiring musicians and stuff when they're singing. And, mm. and uh, I'm a musician, actually. Oh. And I really want to use some of your teachings to create my music. Sure, you're welcome. Yeah. welcome. And uh, I'm really happy, very, very happy. So Good. thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, welcome. You guys don't finish your food, baby? <laughs> yeah, eat while you listen. Anyone else? Yes. Master, thank you very much for this day, for mm -hmm. the, all the arrangement. Uh, our family j just came specially for this day. Yeah. Like, Where yeah. from? From Israel. Wow. Yeah. Poor country. <laughs> I've been uh, watching the news and it's, it's very sad. Yeah. But as we already know, it's a time of changing. You see, everything changes so fast. Yeah. The people of the world, they get dizzy, dizzy, huh? Mm. And suddenly everything changes. It hasn't changed for years or decades and suddenly changes. But something's changed for good. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't look good, but it's good. You know? It ends something. It just has to finish something up, otherwise it will keep going on and on. Mm. And, uh, but in Ireland it's good news, huh? They, they don't fight anymore. Mm. Is that nice? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> there are many good news. 
the people have to have to undergo whatever they have to undergo. Eh? A spiritual gift, it was free for everyone, but not everyone takes it. That's the problem. Just one Christmas pudding and now they have peace <laughs> in Ireland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, things are going to get better, okay? Yeah, we have a home to go to anyway, right? Yeah, that's the thing, we just sojourn here for a while. Yeah, for most of us it won't take long, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're still young, you stay here. <laughs> For you, it's not that quick. <laughs> uh, quick or not quick, it's the, same, huh? it's the same. A few years more, a few years less, then we're done. But we leave the legacy, you see, behind us. Mm. After we leave the world, after we leave this planet, we don't leave the physical body here, but we leave the beautiful spiritual inheritance for our next generation. Yeah, that's the best gift we give to the planet. Well, many people don't appreciate it, but we don't do it for appreciation. <laughs> yeah, just like we help with the physical disaster, we all ask for nothing in return. Yeah, same. Yeah, I, I want to say in one of the uh, DVDs, you said that your dog Benny mm -hmm. was, uh, I think, two two lifetime ago. He was your son. Mm. Before, long ago. Yeah, you said that, and yeah. in Hebrew. Benny uh -huh. is my son. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's <laughs> cute. It's cute. They all have their traits. Many of them are so, so funny. Well, I cannot begin all of that. <laughs> anyway, this is all for you, not for dog people. No, so I'll stop. Yeah, where's your family? Your family, where? I know, I know, where are they? In the, in the UK now. Yeah? In the children now. Uh, Outside? No, in the house. <laughs> At home? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Send them my love, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Mr. Mm -hmm. They're so nice. They keep the house so that you can come here. Yeah, yeah. Your arrangement, yeah. Thank you. Yeah? Say? Thank you, Sir. I can speak Chinese. I don't know. 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 非常感谢师父因为我儿子也非常喜欢师父的教理 你也想回去留这边永久那边那就回去啦好谢谢谢谢我不用过来啦好谢谢师傅我会想念你吧我想念你你会有机会到中国的因为现在中国的领导人很开明了这样子啊因为从明年一月份全部的小学的学生都不用
Anybody? Ah, I think I think that's it, huh? Master, I just wanted to ask you, you know, most of Europe and parts of the world are getting settled. Africa is so unsettled and a lot of place, people are displaced. There's a lot of hunger and um, mm. strife and little children are dying. Mm. My family is affected because they are from Zimbabwe. Mm. And we, I just want to find out, will that country ever settle or will that continent ever settle down? Oh. Because it's so... Not yet. Not no. Yet. Uh. This is a thing, but it's okay. Everybody is working out their evolution in different ways. Mm. Mm. Every continent has a group of different uh, uh -huh. affinity. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah, yeah. That's why they group together as such mm. a nation. Yeah. And the African nation is a different group. Yeah. Okay. But it's not just Africa. You look everywhere. Yeah. Whoever is not up to the spiritual standard of this golden age mm. has to go. Hmm? Light attracts light, understand me? Right, yeah. Yes. Mm. So they go somewhere and then they develop their own evolution over there. <laughs> or they, they work out their karma, this life, and then they speed up in that way. Okay? Uh, material discomfort is not as grave as spiritual, um, how you say, uh, starvation. Yeah. All right. Our planet, it has been a long way, you know, it has a long way. This planet is very lucky already, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm. So uh, everyone has to work out their own karma, yeah? We do the best, see what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Hello, Sifu. Hey. Disturb everybody. So come before. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome. Where's husband and my son and ah, husband son. and my daughter in relation. Oh, good, good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Master. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah? Good? Yeah, you? Okay, okay. Give microphone behind there. Hi, Master. Hi. Um, it's a difficult... Uh, I'm a bit shy to speak, but it's... I know, I know. it's uh, after I got initiated, a month later or two, my mom died. Mm. And I'm sorry. Yeah. And then so I went to Brazil. She called me. She said, Come in April. And so I went and then thank God I was in, thank you. I was initiated. And I just wanted to know if she's all right. If I mean you know, if Of course she's all right, baby. She's all right. Good. Yeah. And it's really important to be here today. Yeah, I won't let anything happen to her, don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hi, Master. I had a really beautiful, a couple of really beautiful experiences in my meditation. What beautiful? Experiences. Ah. And I wonder if it's possible to get permission to send that to the magazine for people to read or... Sure, tell us. Um, they pick it up later. Well, I wrote it down. It's really, ah, okay. really beautiful. But okay, then send it. Yeah, I, I would like to share that with you. And uh, the other thing is, I'm thinking of writing some of my experiences down that I've had mm -hmm. so other people who are on the spiritual path can read, read it like a book of those experiences of my journey and practice. So and many, like a book? Truth. <laughs> yeah, actually, really. <laughs> uh, if, if somebody but, wants to read it, I don't know. You can try. Well, uh, I was thinking, is that going to be good for me? Because I, I sent, I sent a, sort of draft to the foreign group and the, some monks wrote to me and said, look, nobody's supposed to reveal their Better experience. Better not, not too much, yeah? Not too much, mm -hmm. yeah? But some little bits that are just dreams or something. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind to uh, do it or not do it. Do as your own risk. Yeah, but it could be bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> you keep pushing, huh? <laughs> All right. Anyone else? Yeah, over here. Thank you, Master. You You're give welcome. the center for London disciples. Mm. Thank you very much. Last this year, this you give. The, this center is the 
Chinese New Year Day. Very grateful. Thank you. I like your hair. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why you guys have any questions. There's no need for any questions, really. Hmm? Everything should come from here and then go there and then, and then should be clear. But of course, your yeah, level is different. Yeah. Thank you, Master. A um, couple of things. First, firstly, thank you for the way you actually arrange things to happen. I mean, since I've been initiated, I'm just completely speechless. The way Miracle I see happen, things. Eh? Yes, <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> Miracles. And I just, while I was sitting here listening to everyone, I thought, where was I two years ago? Mm. Two years ago. Where were you? I was on the plane <laughs> traveling to Iran because you asked people to help it for the BAM earthquake. Yes, yes, yes. And when I think about it, it was a, a rocky journey in terms of the yeah. way things being arranged and we had to be very careful, yeah. making sure that we don't attract any attention. Yeah. But it was amazing. The, the key people who actually came on our way, I'd never seen them before, they just came and offered help yeah. all the way through. And at the end, I thought, this can only be a miracle. Yeah. And I wanted to thank you for that. And also, uh, on behalf of the Iranian initiates, whose numbers are growing, um, three trips I made to Iran, and i like to extend their warmth love to you. Thank you. Same. Same from me. Thank you. I think they will get this message. Thank All you right. very much. You're Master. welcome. Thank you. And thanks for going there. Thanks for helping the Iran people. Thank you. You're really doing well in that aspect. I'm really proud and pleased. I mean, all of you around the world. Every time there's a disaster somewhere, you don't mind your discomfort, you don't mind losing your time, you don't mind danger, you just go. I'm very proud of you, really. I want to say that many times. I'm checking all your work <laughs> all the time, quietly, <laughs> just like you. <laughs> you do things quietly, I also do quietly. <laughs> yes, I know you are progressing very well, otherwise you wouldn't be here, hmm? okay? All right, there's a couple of jokes that you want to hear. <laughs> The brother took the time to bring them here, so maybe we do that, huh? I'll read it <laughs> for New Year, huh? The good laugh, it's always good. Washing, it's called washing. A girl, I don't know, are those jokes are good, brother? Yes. Guarantee? <laughs> no bedroom joke and stuff in it? Okay. Are the kids can hear it? <laughs> good, okay. Washing, okay. The leaf of Irish laughter, ha ha. <laughs> A girl was being shown around a battleship and she wanted to know if the sailors really wash their clothes aboard the ship. So she was told, not at all, we just throw them overboard and they're washed ashore. <laughs> well, not bad. <laughs> wash ashore. <laughs> Sailor talk. <laughs> Cash and carry. The customer said, can I have a tablet of soap, please? The assistant, certainly, madam. Would you like it scented? Can you, can you understand? Customer say, no thanks, I would just take it with me. <laughs> <laughs> Scent, you know, scent. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Called memory. A man was registering at the reception desk of a rather run down hotel. I hope my English is good enough for the joke, yeah, for the punchline. Yeah. <clears throat> As he was given the key to his room, the receptionist asked him, Have you got a good memory for faces? Yes, not bad. Why do you ask? So the receptionist say, because there's no shaving mirror in your room, sir. 
<laughs> you know, saving me up. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, signs on it. Signs. There's a sign seen in the shop, in the wine shop. It says, Thirst come, thirst served. <laughs> thirst come, thirst served. And in the travel agency, it says, Why don't you go away? <laughs> <laughs> and in the undertakers, drive carefully, we can wait. <laughs> it's cute, huh? And in the church, in the church, do you know what hell is? Come and hear our organist. <laughs> organist. <laughs> you know what hell is, okay. You don't have to go to the church. <laughs> Mint condition. Lady, talk. I have to return this carpet I bought from you last week. You assure me that it was in mint condition. So the shopkeeper says, And so it is, madam. Just look at that hole in the middle. <laughs> I don't understand it. A mint. A mint. Oh, okay. Mint condition. Oh, yeah, like a mint. Oh, English mint have a hole in the middle. There are many mints that don't have hole in the middle. That proves that I haven't been in England for a long time. <laughs> Come and go too often. It's called ends meet. Normally you say, I can hardly make the ends meet. But here, ends meet. Like steak meat. Yeah, okay. It's a plain word, I guess. A customer complained about the sausages which she had bought from him last week. She said, They were all meat at one end, all bread at the other. So the shopkeeper replied, I'm sorry, madam, but in these hard times, it's difficult to make both ends meet. <laughs> 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 Man, <laughs> and this is called living. What's your brother doing these days? Nothing. Oh, I thought he'd apply for that job in Aubrey's. Yeah, he got the job. Wow, he's lucky. My brother is unemployed and living above his income. How does he manage that? He's got a flat over the social security office. <laughs> <laughs> you all know this, huh? Gosh, you're so clever. <laughs> I couldn't even get it. Okay, reminder. Two dupling fortune tellers met in the street one day. Beautiful weather we're having, eh? Isn't it? said one to the other. It certainly is, came the reply. Reminds me of the great summer of 2020. <laughs> Fortune telling. <laughs> Tell the future. Not bad. <laughs> this one is called No Distance. Not bad jokes. Good jokes. Two secretaries were sitting in their office one day when suddenly a brick smashed through the window with a note attached. John Murphy and Sons, Andrew Lane, glass cut to all sizes. <laughs> so one secretary said, Do you know where that place is? And the other secretary said, I do indeed. It's only a stone's throw away. <laughs> That's really cute. And this one's called position. The teacher said, What did Juliet say to Romeo when she met him on the balcony? What did she say? So the pupil said, Couldn't you get seats in the front? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Last word. Last word. My wife always has the last word. Everybody knows that, huh? <laughs> You're lucky. Mine never gets to it. <laughs> What does that mean? Oh, she never finishes. <laughs> okay, man, you all know so well. Jesus, I'm out of touch with the world. Okay, that's that, guys. Ah, we're waiting for a new year and it's not coming. Oh, I know. It takes so long. It takes forever. What do we do in half an hour's time, sitting there and staring at each other? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Staring at me? We are receiving blessings. Oh, okay. <laughs> are you... I know, but it's just so uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I what? Yeah. No, you guys. I am... I am fine. Ah, uh, okay. I give you some... Magic power. <laughs> Otherwise, you say I never have any magical power. <laughs> whoa, huh? Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay. You see this? <laughs> yeah? Okay? Yeah? See it? Right. <laughs> Don't look behind me. <laughs> Blow it. <laughs> Blow again. <laughs> okay, okay. Get up! be something wrong here. Let me check why. Something trouble? <laughs> okay. Magic up. Magic up. <laughs> 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 what are they doing? Why are they laughing? Why are they laughing, huh? are they laughing up there? Huh? <laughs> See nothing up? <laughs> okay. Hold on, hop. Magic bag. <laughs> Take it. Take it away, one of you. Give it for everybody to see. Put it up so anybody can see it. She took away my bowl. Look at that. Yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. See, nothing happened? Yeah. Oh. 
Is they see got the ball, right? Yeah. Anything in here? Yeah. No. Nothing? No. You sure? No. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah. Anything there? Yeah. She took the ball, right? Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Blow it. Okay. Right. Okay. Good, huh? Yeah. Still have the ball there? Yeah. Why? I have it here. <laughs> Blow it again. Make sure. Oh, it's not there. Oh. What happened? <laughs> Put it back on. <laughs> Put it back. She stole it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> Wow, I forgot something at home, but never mind. Okay, we do something else. Wow. Past time. <laughs> I forgot something at home. It doesn't matter. That's okay. <laughs> Cut, eh? Yeah. Everybody see it, huh? Cut, okay? Just. <laughs> Okay. Don't tell me what number. Okay. Yeah? yeah? Okay. I didn't see it. Maybe I can do it again in case. In <laughs> case you think I cheat. I don't look I'm not looking. Yeah. <laughs> That's the number that you're looking for. <laughs> I'm going to do it again in case you think I cheated. Okay, here, I'm not looking, all right? <laughs> okay, check it out. Check it out, maybe she's cheating. Whoa, whoa. Nice stuff we have here. Whoa. Don't look, huh, brother? <laughs> it's okay, you can look, doesn't matter. It just is. You can't see much here. Okay, I have to arrange it so that you can see it well because we don't have room here, you know? Everybody has to see it. Otherwise, difficult to show if there's no room. Just have to lay it out for you so you can see it. You understand me? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, wow. I don't have room in my hand as well. But I guess it should be okay for now. Oh. Oh, it's falling apart in my hands. Okay, tell me how many number nine you can see in there. <laughs> how many number nine? Four, five. Yeah? Four, five. Six. No, six. Okay. Are you sure? Everybody saw it, right? Yes. I'm not sure. Let's take this away. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure if you're right. <laughs> nice. Must be your eyes. Something wrong with your eyes. Yeah? Something wrong with your eyes? Look at him, <laughs> All right. <laughs> huh? You okay with that? <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's check out what we have here. Hmm. Hey, not looking from behind. No. <laughs> it's my magic power. Okay. We check it out. What we have. Mm hmm. Not looking. <laughs> not looking, not looking. Okay, we have some money. Some pennies. You saw that? You saw some pennies. Right? Okay, and there's some money. Okay. It's good, it's good, good, good. Do you see some money there? Yes. Cool. 
and just put it there. Mm-hmm. Is the money still there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, did I have anything in there? No. no. Okay, I'll put it out there. <laughs> <laughs> anything there? Anyone see anything? No. Yeah? No. Nothing. Nothing? You sure about that? Yes. yes. <laughs> 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 wow, a lot of money. <laughs> huh? There's a lot of money, my God. How do you have so much money there? Jesus Christ. Eh? What is the money? Ooh. Blow it. I don't think anything left in there. Oh, oh, yes. on. Make on. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I took my money, huh? <laughs> Yo, put it back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> got it, huh? Mm. Did you get the money? Yeah? No? You didn't? I don't know why you didn't get any money. Because <laughs> there's a lot in there. <laughs> Should we take some more away or just give it? What is that? It's a box. It's a box. So we have some pens. Okay? Mm-hmm. So yeah, we have <clears throat> See if it disappears or not. Huh? Is still there? Yes. Pennies, huh? Yes. You sure? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe this one don't want to stay. Still there? No. No. Ah, (laughs) What happened to the money? Jesus Christ. I'm not giving it. <laughs> 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 Is it New Year yet? No. Huh? Twenty minutes. So we meditate, okay? Yeah. 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 Champagne. What? Champagne. Champagne. <laughs> uh, after, no? Yeah. Yeah. Meditate for a while, yeah. okay? Meditate with the whole world right now. Okay, everybody is meditating in different centers right now. Okay, at the time you turn on the light, okay? Okay. We don't have fire, so we just turn on the light. Okay. Yeah, get ready for the light, okay? We can count down. Yeah, take the light down. Count down now, count down now. How many minutes? How many minutes? Two. Two minutes. 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 The one minute, the first few minutes, the five seconds after we count. Yes, Get ready, get ready. It's one minute. 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 Come on, 
Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year to you. Lot of love, yeah. more love next year. I mean this year. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for understanding what I'm saying. Is there really no alcohol? How many fingers? What happened to your shoes? I don't know what happened. What kind of shoes is that? <laughs> okay. Wow. Are you sure there's no alcohol in here? <laughs> My God. <laughs> I'm not used to this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there was a guy, you know, all this joke already, but I don't know what else. So There was a guy who came into the, the bar eh? and uh, ordered ten glasses of whiskey, you know, and he drank Thank one by one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all gone. And then he, oh, he felt a little tipsy. So I said, oh, too much. Okay, bartender, nine. Please, only nine. <laughs> so I put nine, nine whiskey, and then he drank one by one, and the nine would finish. And he felt kind of worse. Oh, how many fingers? Oh, two fingers. All right. Okay, don't give me too much, and just eight, okay? Eight. <laughs> and then one, three, four, five, five, eight, they go gone. <sighs> it just felt more and more trouble. So he said, okay, this time only seven, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then he drank seven, and then six. 
and then five, also five gone, and then four, and three, two, and then the last one is oh, only one this time, okay? <laughs> and then he drank the last one, the one and only, the last row. You know, I don't understand it. The less I drink, the more I feel drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> but you know that joke already, right? I told you before. But some of you don't know, never mind. So just laugh for the rest. Huh? <laughs> and there was one old man sitting in a bar and drinking. Yeah? The real champagne and alcohol, not like us. This is water juice. Huh? Juice, sparkling, grape, uh, how is it, extract. <laughs> so anyway. He said, then keep drinking, drinking. And then in the middle of his drinking, he was already, you know, like how many fingers stuff. <laughs> and then there were twins, two boys, twins, came in and sat next to him and ordered some, you know, soft drinks. And the old man kept looking at them all the time, you know, the twins, looking up and down, back and so on. And one of the twins said to him, you are, you are not seeing double, sir. We are really twins. <laughs> <laughs> and the old man said, Really? All four of you? <laughs> there was a man <laughs> who went to the pub and drank, drink until he didn't see anything anymore. And then he fell from the chair. And then from there, he crawled all the way home. When he came home, of course, he fell asleep yeah, next to his wife. And in the morning, the wife was so mad, you know, when he woke up already and sober a little bit, and the wife was so mad, said, this is the last time I'm going to file for divorce. He said, well, what have I done? What did I do? The man said, you know, what did I do? So the wife said, last night you went to the uh, Irish pub and drink again yourself until you didn't know anything anymore. He said, I haven't been drinking, I haven't been there. Who told you? I was there sleeping next to you. So don't tell me about it. The owner of the pub just sent your wheelchair home this morning. <laughs> <laughs> the evidence of the crime. <laughs> Some of the jokes are old, but never mind. It's New Year, we can dig it out and laugh again. Since we're drinking champagne, I make sure that you don't drink the real one. <laughs> That's why all these jokes, just to remind you, a nice reminder. There was a man who sat in, the, in front of a, a house on the doorstep, looking at his uh, wedding ring finger. No? Not wedding ring, it's not there anymore. So <laughs> looking at the white skin that's left behind from the wedding ring, and kept crying and crying and crying. And so one guy stopped and said, what's wrong with you? Why are you crying? He say, oh, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Why do you feel bad? He said, I feel bad because I sold my wedding ring. I said, why did you sell your wedding ring? He said, I sold it because I wanted to drink. I sold it to drink, and I feel so bad, so bad about it. I keep crying because I feel so bad. I say, oh, never mind. It's okay. It's already gone. Why should you feel bad now? It's gone. I say, yeah, that's why I'm feeling bad because if it's still there, I couldn't go and sell it now and drink some. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> some bad husband, eh? Thanks to me that you don't have such at home, eh? <laughs> okay, anybody have some jokes? Nice stuff? Huh? Yeah? Tell me, tell me. Yeah, we tell jokes for New Year. We laugh for New Year, okay? It's the best. All the stupid misery we leave behind, yeah? We begin New Year only with good things, only positive thinking, positive talks, positive thoughts, positive action. Yeah. Huh? Ah, yeah, help master. <laughs> uh, Paddy Englishman, Paddy Irishman, and Paddy Scotsman were at work. <laughs> what, what, what? A pair of Scottish men. No, Paddy, Paddy Englishman, Paddy Irishman, and Paddy Scotsman. 
There, Patty. Patty. Patty is Irish. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Fine. So, Patty Englishman, Patty Irishman, and Patty Scotsman were at work and they opened their lunch boxes and. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody know about it? Yeah. I don't know, then you tell okay. it. So, one had um, cheese sandwiches, and he said, if I get cheese sandwiches tomorrow again, I'm going to jump off this building. <laughs> so the next guy opened his, he had hand sandwiches, and he said, if I get these again off my wife, I'm going to jump off the building. And Paddy, <laughs> Paddy Irishman said, opened his box, and he had egg sandwiches, and he said, if I get these again tomorrow, I'm going to jump off the building. So the next day, they're all at work up in the building, and Paddy Englishman opens his, he has cheese sandwiches, he jumps off. Paddy Scotsman... <laughs> sees his hand, ham sandwiches, he jumps off, and Paddy Irishman gets the egg, and he jumps off. <laughs> so the three wives are at the funeral, and Paddy Englishman turns to Paddy Scotsman's wife, and he said, if I'd only known that he had, um, didn't like those sandwiches, I would have made him something else. And Paddy Irishman's wife said, uh, he, he made his own sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Any drinking uh, jokes? <laughs> yeah, okay. We tell all the drinking jokes first. Okay, um, there's these guys who are um, drinking on top of the Empire State Building. And um, they're getting on just fine. And then eventually one guy turns to the other guy and says, Well, you know what? If you jump out of this building, you won't fall, you'll float. Because the hot air from the city will hold you up. So the guy goes, No, no, no. Rubbish. <laughs> Our city? What? The city will hold you up? The hot, hot air. air. Hot air, okay, okay. From the city. Yeah. So um, he says, no, really, try it. I'll show you. Mm. So he goes and jumps out of the building and whoomp, he floats. Mm. And all the guys are like, wow. <laughs> so he goes, come try it. So mm. the guy goes, okay. So he jumps out and falls. <laughs> 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 so some other guys in, in the bar are sitting there and they, get, they turn to the other guy and go, you know, Superman can be really nasty when he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> can be naughty. <laughs> yeah. Drunk. So that's a Superman who jumped. Yeah. Ah, wow. Anyone who want to be Superman? Don't be silly. <laughs> oh, man. So quiet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Jokes so, are always welcome. This guy came out of the pub at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning and he started working and out of the sun everything started turning around him. So he just grabbed himself uh, of this uh, wall on the street. His friend came behind and said, What are you doing there? I said, I was just waiting for me house to come by so I can get in. What? What? <laughs> what, what? what? I'm just waiting for my house to pass by so I can get in. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. Yeah? No jokes? <laughs> <laughs> there over there. <laughs> Better be good, huh? Open the door. Oh, but we will be too loud for yeah. neighbor, right? Hi, it's new. Hi. Um, the two guys are, are, are talking about presents they've got for their wife. The, the present? They yeah, got for, for their them. wife, okay. Christmas present. Yeah. And uh, the guy says, oh, I bought her a, a diamond ring. Uh -huh. And the other guy said, um, I'm sure she didn't want a diamond ring. I'm sure she wanted a Jeep. He said, he said, where can I buy a fake Jeep from? Uh. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. The fake Jeep. Because the diamond ring is fake. <laughs> Understand? So he bought him a, a, a fake diamond ring. But the man said, she, she wants a Jeep. He said, well, I can't get a fake Jeep somewhere. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That's uh, another Irish joke, Master. Yes. Uh, the foreman on the building site put up an ad, handyman want us. Must uh -huh. be very skilled. So along came this Paddy the Irishman again. Paddy the means foreman, sucker, right? There's Paddy here. And the foreman said to Paddy, can you use a hammer? He says, no. He says, can you saw? He says, no. Can you replace a bulb? No. Can you make tea? No. He said, why are you applying for the handyman's job? Well, sorry, sir, I'm, I'm very handy. I just live around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quite handy. Yeah, yeah. All right. 
I'm mean, English is not very good, but I try as a Chinese joke, you know. The Chinese joke. Uh, <laughs> Nobody understands I, I, Chinese. I, trans I translate. <laughs> uh, I try English, you know. Yeah, better. Uh, you know, uh, in the, uh, like a long time ago, Chinese people had long hair, you know, even yes. the men. Yes. So one man uh, go to a hotel, you know. Actually, not a hotel. Uh, Chinese called a kuzhan, but I don't know how to translate it. Ah, okay. It's, it's like a motel, small hotel. Y then, yeah, like I'm saying. So he sleep in another hotel. Yeah. And uh, somebody just uh, want to make a joke. I think he shave, shave him bald, you know, shave his hair. Shave his hair. Yeah, when he he was when he sli sleep. Yeah, when he shaved sleep, his hair. Uh, yeah. Fine. Then put a mirror uh, on the on the uh, table. On the then table. In the morning. Then he, he wake, get, up. wake up, he find himself lost, you know. He said, oh my God, where's me? He find it, because before he have shit, so hair, yeah, hair. Now he doesn't but appear. Then have, he can't look at himself. Yeah, he, said, he said, I lost myself. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. <laughs> Chinese is called, I don't want to go. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, I mean, I don't see myself anywhere. <laughs> right, next one, anybody else? We have a lot of jokes, just forget, eh? Yeah. yeah, next time when you come gathering, just bring a lot of jokes. Write it down so you don't forget. Try another water Yeah, meal. try another one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> yes? In, in, in China, you know, like uh, in my hometown at least, a lot of people uh, like live in the roots area, like a mountain, you know, near the okay. mountain. Yeah. So, uh, like, a, maybe uh, people call them not a civilization. Like wow, <laughs> wow man, yeah? <laughs> yeah, okay. same thing. When there's a guy, he cuts a jungle and they sell to uh, people for wood. Yeah, for, for fire. You know, uh, for, firewood. Yeah, yeah firewood. firewood. Yeah, he's a then, firewood cutter. Yeah. yeah, then he bought he uh, buy a mirror back home, a mirror. A mirror? Yeah, uh, very small, you know, uh -huh. a very small mirror. Because he never saw a mirror, what he did not know. He just okay. picked up a mirror, he said, oh, it's so funny, inside they have a, same as me. Like, smile. When you smile, he smile. Uh -huh. When you, <laughs> like, uh, make a face, he make a face, you know. <laughs> he just a uh, very curiosity. He uh -huh. buy, he, he think it's uh, okay. like a very, uh, like a, Oh, a magic thing, okay, like something. Okay. So he keep it himself, you know. Uh -huh. Then every day, went home. He he put it into a drawer. Mm -hmm. in, he in a like drawer. lock it, you know. Uh -huh. So one day, his he, his wife found. Oh, why he come back like uh, so so strange like this day? So uh -huh. every time just uh, uh, secretly go to the drawer, uh -huh. keep out the thing, uh, uh, laughing smile, and, and doing kind of stuff. He, yeah. he saw that. Uh, uh, his wife saw that he get an extra wife outside, uh -huh. maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he, he have uh, some angry. He, he goes there. She. Uh, she, there. Uh, yeah. she goes there, then check, you know. Uh -huh. he, in the road. Uh, take the joke out. <laughs> okay. He take yeah. out. Uh, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> this is really, he get an uh, extra wife. She has another me. woman. <laughs> 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 same as me. <laughs> so she, she cried to his uh, uh, mother-in-law. Uh -huh. <laughs> Then his mother-in-law, they, they never call her, they, you know, they never, like, they, they're they, good friends. They could, they could have wife and husband, could have couple. Uh -huh. so okay. why, why is this moment, oh, my, maybe my son, you know, get enlightened, maybe, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, because before he is, like, he's, uh, not doing this stuff, you know, uh -huh. can't have extra wife and so, so he, he better, uh, I better myself go there to check it. Then he, uh, open, the open the jaw and take out the, take mirror. the mirror. Oh my God, it's uh, nearly 80 years old, old woman. <laughs> he thought, oh, if my son gets younger, okay, gets uh, actually the same old age as me. <laughs> my son is so crazy. Jesus, you know, and she throws it. Uh, through the mirror and the crash the mirror. I broke it, okay. <laughs> Did you guys understand? Yeah. Ah, good story, good, good, good. Very good. Yeah, behind there. There's a cake from Houston, they made a cake um, to celebrate the new year.
Well, cake from Houston. Can we eat it? Thank you, Houston. Yum yum. Just as we can't even eat it, and they show it to us. It's like a cruelty, you know. What a joke for New Year! <laughs> okay, thanks. All right. Anything else? Just cover it. Although everybody gets hungry again. <laughs> yeah? You got hungry again? Some more cakes? Yeah? <laughs> One bite and share. Share, share it. Share it. Like open and share. Okay. Learn to share. Wow, there you are. I know you will kill for blessed food, but learn to share the blessed food. <laughs> the most difficult thing. <laughs> learn to do the impossible. <laughs> share the blessed food. <laughs> yeah. Just open and everybody take one piece, something like that, you know? There. Any more? Where? Yeah. There, here? Yeah. Here, Master. <laughs> there, Master. <laughs> share it, share it, one each. Okay, this is for upstairs. Okay. And the g garage. Everybody, like, take one back and open, and everybody takes a little bit, you know? That's the way we do in the family, eh? Yeah, like that. One piece, two piece, just fun. That was a good joke. Huh? You guys understood, right? Did anybody not understand? You all understood, right? You didn't. That was so simple. There was a, a woodcutter, you know? He sold firewood in the jungle to the city, and he never saw a mural in his life. So he saw one, and it looked funny, like a face in there, so he bought one home. And he said, oh, you are funny. When I laugh, you laugh. When I make a face, you make a face, you know? Okay, I keep you. And then he kept it and put it in a drawer. Every day he came home from work, he took it out and, you know, did all kind of stuff. So his wife had been observing him and thinking, oh, my husband must have something wrong with him, maybe another woman or something. Yeah, that's why. She kept going there, so she waited until he went to work, went into the drawer, oh, I saw the mirror, took it out and said, my God, if he has another wife, why did he choose the one that looks exactly like me? <laughs> She cried and cried and talked to the mother-in-law and, and the mother-in-law was thinking, oh, they are a happy couple. It, it's not possible that he has an extra wife. There must be something wrong. Maybe she followed Master Ching Hai or something <laughs> <laughs> and became happy. So the mother-in-law went to the drawer and checked to see what's in there. Maybe, uh, you know, key to the immediate enlightenment or something. So she opened the drawer and saw the mirror. And she looked into the mirror and said, my God. Why does he have an 80 years old woman? <laughs> yeah, and she's in the floor, broken, end the story. <laughs> All right. Anybody need translation in Greek? <laughs> okay, anything else, baby? Any more jokes? I had a lot of jokes, but I told you all already, and I don't have any more left. Yes, yeah, you have a joke, cool. Microphone. You all look like kings and queens. <laughs> It's not actually a joke, it is like, um, can someone guess like what kind of melon that is not growing on land? What kind of melon that's not growing on land? Mm. That's a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, no? <laughs> <laughs> so smart. <laughs> Aloha. Okay, there's a joke that you already know, but I tell you again. It was a German, you know? Oh, went all the way to Hawaii on vacation. So when he uh, walked down from the airplane, he saw a native. Yeah, looked like a native. He say, "Do you live here, sir?" He say, "Yes, yes. I was born here." Okay. Ah, so you're a native. Nice <laughs> to know you. Say, uh, excuse me, but uh, people keep telling me it's Hawaii. Is it Hawaii or Hawaii? <laughs> <laughs> you know already, right? So the native man said, "Hawaii, of course." So the German said, oh, thanks a lot. I, I always spelled it wrong, but thank you anyhow. Now I know. It's Hawaii, isn't it? He said, yes, Hawaii. He said, thank you. And he said, you're welcome. <laughs> 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 you 
You know the joke already, no? <laughs> Some of you know, right? Some of you don't know? No. Oh, I could tell joke forever. Mm. There was a kid, huh? Coming to see his friend, a boy. And he heard something, bang, bang, boom, upstairs, you know, very loud. So he asked his friend, hey, John, what's going on up there? So John said, ah, oh, nothing wrong, it's usual stuff. I said, well, what do you mean usual? Why is it so loud? He said, no, it's just my mother, you know, dragging my father's clothes across the floor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, why? It's just a pair of clothes, why is it so noisy? He said, because my father is in it. <laughs> 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 People in garage have already? Yeah? Share it. It's very sweet. You can't eat alone. Share it. We get sick. Bah. Any jokes? Over here. Yeah. Joke. Okay, uh, the three uh, science students and three um, art students uh, tried to go home for the weekend. Mm. And they're both standing at the train station at the window. And the three art students bought three tickets, one ticket each. But the science students, they only bought uh, one ticket. For three? Yeah. So they're wondering, we, what are these guys up to? They, as soon as they got on the train, the science student ran into the toilet, all three of them hid in there. And uh, about half an hour later, the conductor walked down. He knocked on the door for the toilet. As he said, ticket, please. And they, they passed the ticket under the door, one ticket. Mm -hmm. He stamped it and passed it back. Mm -hmm. So they had that journey for, for free, that, okay. those three guys. Yeah. The next weekend, they're at the window again. Mm -hmm. The three art students and the three science students <coughs> The three art students bought just one ticket. Mm -hmm. The three science students don't buy a ticket at all. Oh. <laughs> so they get, they get on the train again. The three art students run into the toilet. Uh -huh. But half an hour later, there's a knock on the door. And one of the science students says, ticket, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. <laughs> so he took the ticket from that. OK. My God. <laughs> good one, good one. <laughs> Is that good? Next one? Anyone else? I, I know a lot, but they remember slowly. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. I think I told you all the jokes that I know, but I have some more, I just don't have it here. No. Okay, by the way, about the train, you know, there was uh, an old man who went on the train and sat there. And then later on, the young man came in. And then uh, he asked the old man, a young, very young man, about 20, asked, Sir, excuse me, what time is it? And the old man ignored him, didn't say anything. And the young man said again, very politely, Sir, excuse me, could you tell me what time is it? And the old man hit the watch. <laughs> <laughs> and the young man asked, and Sir, I only asked you what time is it? You have a watch, can you tell me? So the old man said, No. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, the man next door who was sitting next to the old man felt a little disturbed, say, I'm sorry, I don't have a watch, otherwise I would tell the poor young man what time is it. I mean, what's wrong with you? He only asked you what time is it, and could you even tell the poor young man? So the old man said, no, I'm not telling him. I said, what's the reason? What did he do to you? Oh, nothing. Not yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> say, what do you mean, not yet? Well... Now he asked me for the time, and then later he will ask me what I do, and then uh, ask me oh, where my house is, and then he will ask me what, how much money I have, and then he will ask me how many daughters I have, and then he will want to marry my daughter. <laughs> and then I'm not going to, 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 to let my daughter marry such a man who doesn't even have a watch. <laughs> <laughs> What worry too much? <laughs> uh, worry too much, yeah? <laughs> okay, no more jokes? Then I'm telling my jokes. Yeah. Uh, tell. If you tell yours first, I'll No, remember. tell me. Okay. I, 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 I but you it. already get it. Oh, no, I remember now. Uh -huh. oh. um, there's a, uh, you know, the, um, I don't know the rank in the, in, the, in the army. There's a captain and then there's the, the young soldier. 
and the captain really was scolding and beating one of the soldiers. Mm. And then he, when he finished, he said I, to the soldier, he said, I bet that, um, he said, I bet when you leave the army, you want to jump up and down on my grave. Mm -hmm. And the soldier said to him, he said, no, after I was in the army, I promised myself I'll never stand in another queue. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so many people would jump, right? <laughs> oh, that's a good joke, a good joke. I have another joke, by the way, you, you reminded me, you know, there was a, there was a, um, a new, newly, um, how you say, newly enlisted uh, soldier, yeah? So he was very proud, you know, in his uniform. He took a picture and everything and sent it back to his grandma and said, Grandma, congratulate me. <laughs> I am now a soldier. Just 13, 13 more ranks and I become a major. <laughs> 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 Captain, whatever, you know, 13 more. <laughs> You know how long it takes, I don't know. <laughs> All right. I yeah. remember two jokes. Yeah, two jokes. Yeah. Go ahead. One's a drinking one as well. Yeah. There's a, a little thin, skinny guy sitting at the uh, bar, oh, and he's crying his eyes out, looking really depressed. And, uh, oh, no, no, he's not. He's just sitting, looking quietly at this, <laughs> at this pint, okay, okay. this drink. And this big bullying guy comes in, he pushes him out of the way, and he grabs his drink and drinks it all in one go. <laughs> Puts it down again. Drink and his drink? Yeah, drinks it. Bullies drink him. from the guy who sits quiet? From the skinny guy, okay. yeah. Right. He, he looks around to the then the, the skinny guy starts crying. Yeah. So uh, the big guy says, oh, I'm sorry, uh, you know, I, I didn't mean to upset you so much, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, tell me, what's the problem? He said, oh, this morning um, my wife left me on the way to the bar, you know, I had an accident, I found out that I had cancer. Oh. Now, now I'm trying to commit suicide and you've drank my drink. <laughs> <laughs> my boys are... <laughs> Even I couldn't... Oh, I understand. <laughs> you take my poison away. I, That's right. I got it. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> That's a good one, but very bad. I've got another one as well. Yes. It's, it's about Irish, but it's nice. Okay. Um, there's an Irish guy, and he's got uh, two brothers. They've gone to America. Mm. And uh, every time he buys a drink, he buys three drinks. Mm -hmm. to, uh, and he drinks them. And the, the barman said, hey, he said, hey, what's the problem there? How come you buy three drinks together? Mm -hmm. He said, oh, this is to remind me of my brothers. Mm -hmm. When I, I one for each of them. Mm -hmm. That's, how, that's how, how, how I have it. And he drinks like that every day for months. Yeah. One day he goes in and he buys just two drinks. Uh -huh. So the barman puts his arm around him and says, um, hey, what's the matter? Is everything okay at home? He said, yeah, yeah, my brothers are okay. It's just I stopped drinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two brothers are still drinking. Wow, that's very cute. Okay, I, I just remember a joke now. Oh, forgot. Ah, similar, you know, I was a woman, I think it's in a film, I don't know what, woman, you know, big and, you know, well built and go into the restaurant and eat everything inside, <laughs> you know, big turkey, steaks and spare ribs and then cheesecake with double cream and then, <laughs> and then afterward, uh, order the tea and the waiter asked, how many sugar, for madam? He said, no, no, I'm on diet. No sugar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, similar, similar. <laughs> okay, this is nice to have jokes. Some more? You have a lot of jokes. Uh, they're, slowly coming, they're slowly coming back. Slowly coming yeah, back. I need a few more people to tell them, then I remember. Mm. Did you hear the joke about the, the forest and the elephant and turtle? No? no? Maybe you have, but okay, never mind. Some of you didn't, okay? So laugh for the rest, yeah? <laughs> and the other is just open your mouth like lip singing, you know? <laughs> to feel, feel in the gasp. <laughs> okay. In the forest, one time, there was a bad drought, you know? No rain for a long time, long time, and many animals, people started dying, yeah? No food. So they, the, the lions, of the jungle, gather all together the subjects and say, we have to do something, otherwise we will all die here. So um, the, the owl, you know, the bird, the, the wise owl suggested that everybody tell a joke and it has to be funny so that all the jungle animal people must laugh. If one of the animal people doesn't laugh, then that 
the joke teller must be eaten. <laughs> Phew. That's hard, but they have no other solution, so okay, let's do that. Uh, they say, otherwise we will all die anyway, you know, might as well die, you know, sacrificing for each other. Oh, good thinking. All right, so first comes the elephant, he tells the joke, and very, very funny. Everybody was rolling on the ground and laughing, laughing, and all the monkeys drop off the trees, and <laughs> all the fish, you know, jump over the land, and they're all laughing so much, except the turtle. <laughs> Not laughing. So everybody feels so sorry for the elephant because the joke was really, really funny. But the rules are the rules, so they all have to eat him. Okay, finish him up. Next time it comes, <laughs> you know, the giraffe tells the joke. And so funny, funny. Everybody rolls on the floor laughing, and the monkey drop off the trees again, and you know, <laughs> the tiger, you know, drops dead, grasping for breath, and everything. Everyone laughs so much, except the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Not laughing. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Everybody feels sorry, but rules are rules. So, okay, they eat the giraffe. And then so and so continue, continue, you know, until everybody is dead. Only the monkey is <laughs> so scared. He <laughs> now keeps looking at the turtle. He <laughs> can't say one word. <laughs> so scared. <laughs> and then suddenly everybody hears the turtle laughing. <laughs> the joke that the elephant told was so funny. <laughs> You got it. You know the joke. You know the joke, no? Oh, yeah. oh, so whatever you do fast, eh, man, it could cost lives, you know? <laughs> I think I told you that joke already in Hungary. Yeah, I did? Oh, still funny. Okay. Huh? Oh, CD. Oh, okay, then forget it. <laughs> Yeah, that's another joke about the rabbit. Huh? There was a rabbit and a turtle living together. You know that joke already? I also told you? No. No? CD? Don't remember. Okay, okay. Okay, pretend not to remember. Fine, fine. The turtle and the rabbit lived together next door. And one day the rabbit had a headache? No? Yes? Okay, don't know. Just two of you know. One of Okay. So the rabbit said, oh, 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 and the turtle came over and said, What's wrong, brother? What's wrong? He said, Oh, last night, too much party, hangover. My head is so big and have a headache. Oh. Can you go to the pharmacy, get me some uh, aspirin? So the turtle said, oh, Of course, I do anything for you. Of course, I go, I go. So he went. Three hours later, <clears throat> The rabbit was getting worse, headache getting worse. Oh, where's that turtle? <laughs> I just asked him for one aspirin and he came such a long way. What does he do? It takes so long. I, my head's getting worse and worse. My God, where's that turtle? Oh. And then half an hour later, he heard next door, the turtle. From next door, the turtle said, now that you're talking bad about me, I'm not going anymore. <laughs> a joke? You got a joke? Okay. Chinese or English? Uh, English. Good. <laughs> the car Land Rover, and always on the back of the car, the wheel, uh, write four times four. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, the yeah. wheel, right, yeah. four by four, okay. And the, the, the owner, is, uh, they got uh, the car, it's a new car, mm -hmm. and the next day, somebody write it, it's a equal 16. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, and the four owner... by four, and then he wrote equal 16 yeah. Oh, yeah. on the wheel of the Land Rover, okay? Yeah, the new new car, uh -huh. and the, the, next, the, the owner tried to paint it off and uh, make it nice and clean. Uh, Next day, it happened again. Again. <laughs> so, the owner got a good idea. He got a, a nice paint, just painted nice and beautifully, equal 16. Yeah. yeah. And, and he thought, oh, he thought, thought a problem. Um, but the uh, next day, and uh, he found the car, there's a tick, yes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> You're right, huh? Okay, okay. okay that reminds me of another joke. Huh? There was a guy who, who parked just a simple car, you know, in the parking lot, and he put a, a, a cardboard outside, the sign saying, there's nothing valuable in the car. <laughs> you know it, right? All of you? Okay. So that people don't break in. He said, there's nothing really valuable in my car. Okay. When he came back, the car was broken and everything turned upside down, inside out. I said, my God, why? I already wrote the sign like that, nothing valuable. Why somebody even bother to break in my car? And he looked in the compartment, there was a sign inside saying, we just check if you tell the truth or not. <laughs> okay, one more. You have? Any? Anybody upstairs or in the garage? Have a joke? Oh. Okay. Shy, Shy. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but we are all family here, you know? It's just family. Yeah? No. No? Oh, too bad. Oh, well. For what, family? Okay. Yeah, to one guy, go my junk and one home. And another, I mean, the next morning, he got up and found uh, his wife uh, make very beautiful breakfast for him. But breakfast. every time when he when he get drunk and go home next morning, his wife always uh, I mean scold him and uh, make very bad face uh, to him. Mm -hmm. He got confused. You got it, guys? Okay, okay. The wife always scolds her husband whenever he's drunk and comes home. But this time he's drunk and wake up in the morning with a beautiful breakfast, so he's confused, wondering what's happened. Yeah, and he, he asked her, his son, so, so what did I do last night? His son said, last night when my mom um, took off you clothes, you said, get, get rid of me, I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> Get off me, I'm married. When he was drunk, he said that. Because the, the wife was taking his clothes off for him. And he was drunk, he said, Get off me, I'm married. That's why she's happy. Ah, good idea. Okay. Very good. <laughs> because people think that when they're drunk, they tell the truth, you know. So she's happy that he's faithful. That's what it is. Okay. Maybe he wasn't that drunk? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? He didn't tell me. <laughs> he pretended, huh? He pretended. Anyone? Oh, okay, good. It's one here. We go home now? It's a very short one. All right, don't worry. <laughs> Keep it long. <laughs> I heard that uh, Winston Churchill, yeah. is, he was not a very nice man. And one day, there was a woman taught to him that, uh, Sir, if I were your wife, I would give you a, a poison to drink. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> then he said, Well, if you, were my, if you were my wife, I would drink it. I drink it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my wow. Yeah. My he's, God. He's cruel. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't clap like that when I told a joke. <laughs> Go ahead. A, a Colombian dog in the jungle with his lord, and he gets lost. And now they saying this panther was just about to eat him. And I said, oh my God, what do I do now? He's a little dog. And so when he saw the, the panther just about to attack him, he started cleaning his nails. <laughs> that was a nice panther I just ate. So the panda said, oh my god, this is a dangerous dog. He just went. So the monkey was, was looking at the dog. Mm -hmm. And then um, he went to the panda and said, you know, you stupid panda, you know, that dog just tricked you. I said, how come? I said, well, I was just looking at everything. He didn't need any panda. I was just a skeleton of another animal there. I said, well, prove it to me. I said, well, let's go together. So then the dog was trying desperately to um, get his bearings around and he could not and then he saw the panther again but mm -hmm. this time with the monkey ah. i said oh god that monkey mm -hmm. and then the panther said all right you stay here and i'm gonna eat that dog now mm -hmm. <laughs> so the dog desperately said my god please please enlighten me i said ah okay so he went there and i said that stupid monkey is taking love with the other panther what what would be the problem taking what that stupid monkey, what? The stupid monkey is thinking too long with the other panther I sent uh, to bring him out, yeah? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs>
You don't understand? Oh, yeah, okay. Because the panda is coming back to them with the monkey. So the dog uh, was trying desperately, so he said, Oh, that stupid monkey. How come it took him so long to bring back this panda, <laughs> the second panda? It looked like he sent the monkey to send the panda and him to eat. Oh, well, ha-ha. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good, good. Okay. I need some more champagne. <laughs> <laughs> How many fingers already? Oh. <laughs> okay, um, there's these three guys, um, Fanamava and his friends, and they're in the desert, and they come across this um, lamp. So the one, Fanamava says, you know, ah, you know, uh, we must rub this lamp. You know, maybe there's a genie inside it. So... You must what? Uh, uh, rub the lamp. Okay. Yeah. So they're rubbing it and rubbing it, and all of a sudden, whoom, out comes this genie. So the genie says... I can grant you each one wish, only one wish. So, Fanamava's one friend says, Ah, I just want some water, just some water so it can cool me down from this hot sun. So he says, Your wish is my command. So, boom, there comes the water. So, he's very happy, busy drinking his water and he's cooling down. Then, Fanamava's other friend goes, Ah, oh, I only wish for a fan cool myself down. That way it would be better from the hot sun. So the genie goes, your wish is my command. <laughs> so, boom, out comes the fan. <laughs> so he fans himself and he's very, very happy. So Fanamav is sitting there really hard thinking, what can I wish for? You know? <laughs> the so he goes... Friend? The third friend? Yeah. Okay. So he goes, ah, I know. So he goes, sorry, uh, can I have a, a car door? So the genie looks at him. And um, the genie shakes his head and he goes, your wish is my command. So, whoop, he gets a car door. And the other two are like, a car door? One's got water, one's got, why do you want a car door? So they go up to Fanamava and they say, Fanamava, why did you want a car door out of all the things you could have wished for? So Fanamava goes, you know, when it gets hot, I can just roll down the window. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, good, good. <laughs> yeah, I tell the joke meanwhile, huh? Just she reminds me. There was a man who found the lamp, yeah? And rub, 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 came out the genie. Yes, master, what can I do for you? Big and powerful. And so the so-called master say, well, of course, I want something nice, but how many things can I have? Ah, he say, you have only one wish, huh? She said, okay, let me think, let me think. And he thought, and he said, oh, you know what, every day I have to um, drive very far in order to go across the river, you know, to find a way to go across the river. Why don't you just make me a bridge, you know? And then I don't have to drive a long way. You know already, the joker, am I? So the, the genie looked at the river, it's so big and wide and, Say, oh my God, it's very difficult. It would take like ten years to make it. <laughs> so the man said, "Well, okay, okay. If it's difficult, then make me understand my wife." <laughs> <laughs> and the genie said, "Okay, okay. What color you want the bridge?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know the joke, huh? anyway. It's on the internet. Okay, what's next? I think it's late. Are huh? we going home, eh? Family. No. No? Oh. Your family is not waiting for you? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Just worry your family might think you should go home. This is our huh? family. You okay? Yes. All right. It's hard, huh? I'll tell you a joke. Tell a joke, uh, finally. <laughs> the turtle spoke. <laughs> one, one You're so quiet. A, a policeman w was uh, driving along. He saw a car swerving along the road. Yeah. And he stopped the car. He looked inside and there's a priest in the car. He said, have you been drinking yes. or something? So the um, priest said, no, no, I, I've only wait, been wait. drinking this water here in the I've back. Been, yeah. So the policeman looks in the back of the car. There's yeah. a bottle of wine there mm -hmm. on the back seat. <coughs> he picks up the bottle. He said, this isn't water. Mm. The, pr the priest said, my God, he... He's done it again. It's a miracle. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
It's good. It's a good one. It's a good one. You got it? No. You don't. Okay. A priest drove the car. Chick check chick check. So the police saw and stopped it. I said, Father, have you been drinking? You know, the priest. So I said, No, no, I just drink water. In the back there. And so the police looked in the back and saw a bottle of wine, not water. So the priest said, Oh my God, it's a miracle. He did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Jesus turned water into wine. <laughs> There's another one. That's another similar. one. Yeah, yes, similar. Yes. Uh, not so funny, though. But uh, anyway, one day there was this motor crash. Two cars were destroyed completely. The two people who were driving got out. Yes. The man and a the woman. They said to each other, "Look, we cars are completely wrecked, but we're perfectly okay. Not mm. one scratch." Yeah. It must be fate. Yes. So, the uh, the, the the man said, "And look at this uh, here in this uh, bottle of wine here. Mm -hmm. Everything else is destroyed, but this bottle of wine is completely <coughs> untouched." Mm -hmm. It must be a sign that we should drink it. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the woman said, okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll split it. Mm -hmm. So the man said, okay, um, well, I'll open it. You, here's your, you, you go ahead and uh, the woman said, you go ahead and drink yours uh, first. Mm -hmm. So he drinks half the bottle of wine. Yeah. He says to her, um, are you not going to drink your wine? Mm -hmm. uh, she said, no, I think I'll just wait till the police get here. <laughs> oh, <I understand. laughs> Then the police will blame all on the, the other person. Understand? Yeah. yeah? Okay, that's what it is. No better don't drink, eh? <laughs> no, they can blame you for anything. You anymore? Yeah? Uh, I just remember the other night. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, it's, um, continue. The, it's a, it's a, uh, three guys are stuck in the desert, and uh, for days they don't have any water, and they, they're going to die. Mm. And anyway, one of the guys kicks off a lamp, and this genie comes out, and he <laughs> says, I grant you three guys a wish. So the first guy says, oh, I wish I was on a tropical beach, surrounded by as much water as I could drink, mm. and uh, on a hammock, enjoying myself. Yeah. So, bing, he's gone. The other guy says, oh, I wish I was in a five-star hotel on the beach, you know, uh, oh, enjoying yeah. myself. Enjoy. The third guy, he looked around and he felt a bit lonely. So he said, I wish my friends were back here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we heard that. <laughs> Okay, you got it? Huh? Yeah? Well, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, there's a um, uh, lift uh, in the department store. Yeah. And uh, it's on the third floor, a lady gets in, very elegant lady, uh -huh. and a beautiful uh, scent of yeah. perfume. Yeah. And she turns around and she says, um, Chanel, um, $100 an ounce. Uh -huh. So the lift goes down one floor. And another beautiful lady gets in, another scent. Mm -hmm. She says, um, uh, Dior, Christian mm -hmm. Dior, mm -hmm. $150 an ounce. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the, the next floor down... Um, uh, Saying to whom? Uh, uh, she said to everybody else in the oh, lift. In she the turned lift. around. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> all <right. laughs> but, uh, okay. So uh, the old lady gets into the lift, and um, when uh, the lift gets down to the ground floor, there's terrible smell in the lift. So, sh as she's getting out of the lift, she turns around to the others and she says, uh, uh, broccoli, uh, 80 pence a pound. Sorry. <laughs> I don't understand. So I don't understand, huh? Okay, what's next? Okay, there's a Roman Catholic priest giving confession in his room. And uh, the man came in to confess that, um, Father, forgive me for I have sinned. I've just stolen a pair of shoes. Uh, the priest said, um, Okay, uh, go to pray. Three Hail Marys and three Our Fathers. <laughs> After confession, the priest came out, his shoes gone. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I understand. So he stole the, <laughs> the pair of shoes of yeah. the priest. Okay, I got it. Okay, this um, also Roman Catholic priest 
uh, going to his confession room. It's a long queue out there, and two queues actually. There's another priest giving confession as well. And this priest went in, and the first person came in, uh, blah, 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 say his sins. And then the priest say, You Satan, go pray ten Our Fathers and ten Hail Marys. Again, okay, the man so went out. And then when the priest waited and waited, nobody came in. He, he went out and looked at the queues. The queues all gone, and all of the people joined the next queues. <laughs> oh, because he's too, too strict. Yeah. <laughs> because the people get the priests scold them Saturn <laughs> and give them too many prayers to pray after that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so the other priest better? Is that why? Because the other priest, they don't, he doesn't scold. Oh. Okay, get out of here, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next. Yeah. Over there. You? You want it? No, no, I'm just holding. <laughs> you? So yeah, yeah, go, 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 quick, quick. Right. Um, this is a girl, she went to the church and confessed with the priest. Yes. Dear father, it's arrogant, a bad sin. Yeah. I mean, like, being arrogant. Um, the father asked, are you more clever mm -hmm. um, than your friends? And the girl said, uh, no, I'm not more clever, I'm not richer. Um, I just feel that... Um, a bit prettier than my uh, friends, mm -hmm. and then the father said, "Oh no, it's not arrogant. That is just a misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true." <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah, yeah remember right. now. Uh, Englishman, Scottish man, and an Australian guy. They're sitting in a bar, mm. and they're drinking, and then the. The Scottish guy looks over the, across, he sees the table, a, a man just drinking mineral water all alone. Mm. There's a halo around his head and he's got long hair. Mm -hmm. and he says, he said, man, I think that, that guy looks just like Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he's, uh, the, other, the other friends say, yeah, maybe you're right, maybe he is. So he walks over to the man over there, the Australian guy. He says, hey, mate, are you Jesus? And, he, and Jesus just nods. So he comes and sits down. Then the... Scottish guy goes over there, asks Jesus the same question, and uh, Jesus nods. And uh, anyway, he comes back, and I just forgot, the, the English guy, he's in a wheelchair. That's right, I just remembered now. So he goes over in the wheelchair to Jesus, and Jesus says, yes, I am Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, he comes back. And after about half an hour, they're still talking and sitting down, and Jesus walks over to them. And uh, he comes up to the Scottish man, and he shakes his hand. And the Scottish man jumps in there and says, my God, it's a, it's a miracle. My back was uh, hurting me for 20 years. I tried everything. and Now I'm cured. My goodness. Mm -hmm. And uh, he walks up to the Australian guy, shakes his hand. And the guy says, my God, my leg, my leg is working again. It's a miracle. It's a new leg, huh? Yeah. Okay. And he goes over to the, he yeah. walks over to the English guy. Wheelchair. Yeah, the English guy turns green, a look of complete panic on his face, and starts wheeling backwards away from Jesus. He says, for Christ's sake, stay away from me. I get disability allowance. Terrible. <laughs> 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 Uh, I got a similar joke before I forget. Uh, there was a man with a healing touch, you know? He came around testing people, yeah? And uh, he met a uh, French and Irish and uh, English, whatever. Um, and then um, he asked them to do a favor for him. And then if they do it well, he would heal them, you know, quietly. So he asked a Frenchman to do something for him, and he did it. So he touched the French. French guy on the head, and then the French guy, chronic headache was gone. Oh, I got like a new head, it's beautiful. All right. And then he went to the Englishman and asked him to do something, and the English guy did it. So he touched him, and then he got a new pair of legs. <laughs> he had no legs before. And then there was uh, another guy, what? Irish. Huh? The Irish on a wheelchair. <laughs> when they asked him to do something, he did, and then he came and touched the wheelchair. The Irish, oh, I got new wheels in my <laughs> <laughs> You know the joke, right? <laughs> Similar. <laughs> okay, what next? 
You have? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> it looks too slight. <laughs> Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go okay. ahead. Yeah? Uh, this, is, this is a joke about a monkey who goes into an employment exchange and goes up to the counter. And he says, a monkey. Monkey goes where? Yeah, into an employment exchange, looking for a job. Job oh, center. Sorry, job <laughs> employment exchange. Yeah, yeah. All right. And the attendant says, you're a monkey. You should be in a circus. Yeah. The monkey looked at him and said, what would a plumber be doing there? <laughs> <laughs> Plumber. Uh -huh. yeah. the plumber be it was a plumber. Oh. The monkey. Oh, I understand. Okay. Oh. It's very bad. <laughs> Without plumber, your toilet would be stuck. <laughs> okay. I guess we all run out of shoes, huh? <laughs> Okay, guys. Every party has to end someday. <laughs> Today you got everything. Hmm? Yeah. You got champagne, you got chips even. And you got magic. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Master. Ah, let's go home sleep. Huh? Got everything, yeah, and a lot of food still. Let's call it a day and continue the whole year happy. Yeah? Yes. yes. Maybe we see each other some other day, okay? Uh, are there some other people upstairs still? Yeah. Or are you not here? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> How about the garage also? Yes. I can hear nothing. Everybody's in the garage, Master. Everybody? Yeah, just oh, whatever's cool. left over. Okay, I go and say hello. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Well, uh, yes. Oh, happy new year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chúc mừng xuân hòa bình hòa bình. Màu sương thôi từng rơi, ngày ấy quê hương đời anh về trong chén tình đầy vui.